Hey guys, welcome to the channel. When you turn on Wi-Fi on your mobile or laptop, you may have seen lots of Wi-Fi around you. But unfortunately, you do not have the access to this Wi-Fi. Why? <laughs> Simple, because you don't have the security key or the password, right? And those Wi-Fi uses certain encryption types such as WEP or WPA, WPA2. Well, WEP is an old encryption method which can be easily cracked. But in this video, I'm going to talk about cracking WPA WPA2 Wi Fi encryption and tell you how does it work and some safety you can practice. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Now, guys, before I start the video, let me be clear. This video is completely for informational and educational purpose. I'm using my own network to demonstrate that method. Okay? Doing this sort of thing on the network for, you know, which you do not have permission is illegal. So, stay out of trouble. Alright? And also, if you are new to my channel, oh you are, smash that like button, subscribe and turn on the bell notification. So in future, you will get notified of my new content. Okay, now let's begin our video. In order to perform this method, you need something, you know, your uh, gear or something. Yeah, now. The first thing you need a Wi-Fi adapter which supports monitor mode and packet injection. In my case, I'm using this TP-Link TLWN722N, a budget-friendly adapter. You know, unfortunately, which stop which stops working every time when there is a new version of Kali is released. Yeah, but if you have any other option, please use those. And you need a Kali machine. And the tools we are going to use is called Aerodump NG and Aircrack NG. And a word list containing thousands of passwords. You know, these passwords are used by real people around the world. In their Wi-Fi, actually, yeah. That's true. And a four-way handshake file. If you don't know what handshake is, it is... It is it's uh, four packets which are generated when a device is connected to Wi-Fi. The access point uses these packets to verify the user. Uh, I mean a device. Okay. If you don't know what is packet, please go and Google because I don't have time to explain all of this in one single video. All right. Okay. Now let's begin our work. Here. I have started my Kali machine and I have also opened the terminal and I have also connected my wireless adapter which is in monitor mode already. So if I type if config and as you can see WLAN 0 this is the interface I am gonna use and if I type I am gonna clear and if I type iwconfig and press enter and you can see my adapter is already in the monitor mode and if you don't know how to turn on monitor mode in this tp-link tlwn 722n click on the link uh, I, I mean the yeah link in on the i button on your top right corner then you can watch that video okay but uh, that method may work or uh, may not work uh, these days because you know Every time Kali releases new kernel, the drivers, you know, doesn't work. So there, there should be, you know, uh, there are some people who uh, changes and upgrades the uh, driver every time uh, to, uh, to, 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 you know, to make the compatible with the kernel version of uh, Kali. So uh, also uh, check out the GitHub page of Aircrack NG. You can find information there also. All right. But uh, in my case, it's already in the monitor mode now we can start our work no i'm gonna clear the screen the first thing uh, we are going to do we are going to gather the information so to do that i'm gonna use the tool aerodump ng sudo 
arrow dump ng oops arrow dump ng and my Wi-Fi adapter which is WLAN 0 I'm gonna press enter and as you can see I'm gonna quit the process pressing ctrl C and if you see here I have captured the target okay so this is the target we are going to try cracking all right now the now second phase what we have to do we have to target this specific network okay and to do that follow my lead sudo arrow dump oops dump arrow dump dash ng dash dash pssid and the MAC address of the target network you can simply copy and paste it here then oops uh, type dash dash channel and it's in channel 11 so type channel 11 and you have to write the handshake file so actually now we are going to capture the handshake file and we have to save it somewhere so I'm gonna type dash dash write and I'm gonna type the file name WPA handshake the file name and at last the interface name which is in monitor mode that is WLAN 0 so this is the whole command okay okay this is the name of the, uh, the sudo to work as a root you know to execute the command as a root the privileged user this is the tool dash dash bssid and specify the mac address of the target uh, target ap dash dash channel that uh, you know to specify the channel of target and dash dash write to write the file the handshake file on your computer and wlan0 the interface which are uh, which you are going to use on capturing the handshake and press enter okay now now it's uh, scanning now keep your eye on this area here you can see if you know uh, handshake is captured and when that's gonna happen if somebody is connected to the network so now we have to wait until somebody is connected to the network. Two thousand years later. Oh, you know that will take um, probably a year, maybe. Just kidding. Okay, now to solve this problem, what we can do, as you can see, this uh, particular network has a device connected to that network okay so what we can do we can disconnect this device using the authentication attack and if you don't know how to do that click on the i button then this will disconnect for a certain time and it will connect automatically then we can capture the handshake so simple so i'm gonna split the terminal here split terminal horizontally and I'm gonna type sudo and tool we are going to use is called a replay ng and dash dash d auth to specify the d authentication attack and I'm gonna send 10 attacks I'm okay uh, you can specify 0 but that will send uh, the attack continuously but you know just 10 time and after certain time the device will connect automatically so we can use this one then I'm gonna specify dash a to specify the MAC address of that particular network which is okay I have already copied so I'm gonna right click and paste from the clipboard now after that I'm gonna specify dash C to specify the client which is this uh, MAC address so type MAC address three.
and now the the wireless adapter interface the blue LAN zero okay now I'm gonna press enter and let's see the magic oops password and wait for it wait for it wait for it wait for it and we have successfully captured the handshake okay now you can cancel this process all right now if you go and look at here in your home directory these are the file that we have captured right now you know and we are particularly interested in this file and this is the or list we are going to use against this file okay now we are going to crack the password using handshake and the word list the capture handshake will be unpacked and some information will be extracted this handshake file contains mic or message integrity code now the tool aircrack ng will create a new mic from the word list and compare it with mic from the handshake okay now if it's a uh, match then yes you got the password successfully I recommend some you know uh, put some uh, manual password on the word list such as victims information like date of birth paint's name favorite food or artist etc you know that will increase the chance of password cracking okay the cracking process will take time depend on your hardware you can also use your GPU or upload the handshake file on such a website which have large word list and which cracks the password but I won't mention any here now let's begin with the process now to crack the password I'm gonna clear the screen again oops I'm gonna exit this one and exit this one also oops Now to crack the password, I'm gonna list the file ls and this is the word list we're going to use and this is the handshake file. Oops, this one. And we can use the word list against this handshake file. Okay. Now simply type this command sudo aircrack ng and type the file name, I mean the handshake file name wpa and shake dash zero one dot cap now I you know I regret that I kept the name very long okay now specify the word list by typing dash w and word list dot txt now press enter and see the magic okay Oops, the key has been found and the password is welcome123. Okay, shall we connect the password with this? Okay, let's try. But uh, to do that, uh, we have I have to restart the, uh, the machine. But actually, this is the password. Uh, you know, I can assure you that because I, I, why I was successfully, you know, I was successful to crack the password is... I manually inserted this password in that word list you know so there's a chance you may you may or you may not found the password okay you may not find the password you you may not able to crack the password there's a chance it depends upon how much information you've got and only if that person if the particular network uses some you know common password from the word list if that happens bingo Okay, now I was able to crack the password because, you know, as I told you, I manually inserted my password in the word list. So, always gather information about the target, alright? Now, to prevent from this attack, what you can do is, yeah, always use strong password on your Wi-Fi. Very strong, alright? Don't use the password like 12345 a password or quality you know if you search on the internet top 
top password common password used by people around the world those password passwords you can see okay don't use you know a so uh, simple password always mix um, uh, characters like um, I, th I think you should use uh, at least eight character password mix with the uh, mix up of you know uh, letters uh, uppercase and a lowercase number and a special character also that will that will increase your security okay if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification see you guys on the next video